This is a little bit difficult to talk about because firstly, I don't have a very deep understanding of it. Secondly, it's a sensitive topic um, in general. And it's the topic of bipolar disorder. Why it feels uncomfortable for me to talk about is because I very seriously, before I realized that this was, you know, mo most likely uh, a Kundalini awakening, I really thought that something was seriously wrong with me psychologically and that I might have to go into medication because I couldn't imagine myself being able to function in society with the extreme highs and lows that I was experiencing over a prolonged period. It was about two months um, of these highs and lows. I started to, at some point, um, do some work again on my ascension path, which I had kind of abandoned since coming back to South Africa, maybe for the first few months of being home, you know, about six months or so, I, I continued to work toward that. But I slowly noticed myself kind of dissolving into the way of being here, where if I'm alone, I can explore the stuff to my heart's content. But when you're with people who maybe don't necessarily explore the stuff or are not really interested in it, your conversation topics um, move more toward your in what, what's happening in your environment or what, whoever you're exposed to. And so I found that less of my time was going toward ascension stuff and more was going toward 3D kind of concerns. Um, and so I started to do some of these this ascension work again, which I found was helping to relieve uh, some of the dark night symptoms. However, it was pulling me up into really high states of consciousness, feeling really peaceful and blissful, connected, um, loving. And then I would, you know, kind of be plunged back down into this dark night stuff again and have to see some other element of my childhood or experience some other thing that I would need to resolve and this was happening and it was sometimes happening you know more than once in a day where I'd be super high and then super low the highs were not kind of manic in the sense of um like I'm a superhero I can do all things and insanely moving through this intense energy yes I did have moments of this intense energy kind of like and you'll see it in my videos you know um, but it was more the it was more like a divine kind of like I know who I am in the moment I feel so empowered not because of my ego but because I'm so much more than this ego and so I started to kind of look this up like what's going on with me am i am i gonna need to go into some meds soon do i need to go visit a, a psychiatrist and and um like this is getting serious you know and i i looked it up and i found um so many other people describing their kundalini awakenings in the same way <clears throat> and so many videos on youtube about bipolar disorder and spiritual awakening or bipolar disorder and kundalini awakening there's a whole channel dedicated to it with a guy who has like he spent many years trying to understand himself and what the heck happened to him because he was um you know he was committed for it and many others <clears throat> so many other people who went through these kundalini awakenings or these spiritual awakenings with these intense highs and lows were committed by their families so it started to feel like because i saw that other people were going through this that oh thank gosh i'm not completely losing my mind many did not medicate but that was because they had access to information that they used to help them use this process as a process of purification and a process of um, expanding their consciousness but Many people who've never had any access to this information don't know what's going on. And so uh, they, they can't even begin to like explain to their families. Nobody knows. So the first thing that they do is 
we got to take you to a doctor understandably it's bloody intense um and then the doctor you know with their limited understanding calls it schizophrenia calls it bipolar calls it whatever other mental health illness right and um, depression because they don't have the understanding from the metaphysical perspective of what is going on um, and what it's leading to you know and so I think there's a definite um, gap that needs to be filled from a mental health perspective in terms of our conventional way of treating mental illness and understanding it but from a spiritual perspective and through a spiritual lens, many people have come out on the other side and shared their experiences. Um, so I, I just, you know, really wanted to, to talk about this because of how it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> this is not what happened the first time I went through my spiritual awakening. The first dark night of the soul, it was very linear. It started off in hell and slowly progressed and then eventually bam the lights came on you're in heaven this time with the ups and the downs it was like i have no clue when i'm gonna be dropped back down into hell again but bipolar um disorder it it makes me really really curious i mentioned this briefly in the previous video um about oh i can't even remember now my train of thought just drifted off into somewhere else but yeah um, I think it's something that's worth looking into and that if you currently are suffering with some degree of mental instability um, to look into these things maybe there's something there for you that could explain what you're going through in a way that uh, conventional medicine maybe cannot and I'm not saying don't go to conventional doctors or psychiatrists or psychologists or therapists because there are those one of which I saw in the early stages of my uh, dark night coming on really strongly um, who had both the exposure and experience from that side as well as from the spiritual side so there are those who understand both and I would highly recommend going to one of those anyway I'm gonna leave it at that and send you guys lots of love i no longer feel fearful of the highs and lows i have mentioned this in another video but i did not use the word bipolar um <clears throat> i will put in the caption the page uh, of the guy that he's really taken so much time to break this down through all the research and the digging that he's done into his was way 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 worse than what i went through but the way that he explains it is just so gentle it's so um like it, it's so non-judgmental you know it's just as it is this is the information that i found and it's it just softens the blow and the the, the feeling of fear around what you could be going through so if you are going through some kind of mental dis-ease um, explore these alternative ways of understanding it because as soon as i started to kind of make peace with oh my gosh this actually connects a lot with the kundalini awakening symptoms i judged myself way less because i knew that there's a beautiful reason on the other side of it you know for going through this this turmoil upheaval anyway wishing you guys lots and lots of love and i'll see you guys on the next one.